So what is cell cycle? So cell cycle is the period from the formation of a cell division to the point where the cell divide itself. Means that before a cell divide, we know that. So this cell, one cell will actually divide into two cells. Okay, in, divide into two cells. So before that it divides, so this is the cell cycle. So this is a cell cycle means a period of formation of cell division before the cell divide by itself. So you can say that if cell cycle, if cell division is cooking, so cell cycle could be preparing the material to cook. So the cell cycle is very variable. So it depending on type of cell. So some cell cycle can be one day, some of the cell cycle can be four days, five days. It's different. So the cell cycle for unicellular organism is known as the life cycle of an organism. So for example, unicellular organism is amoeba, amoeba species, or paramecium species. All right, so for human, for human cell or animal cell, the cell cycle is divided into four phases. Okay, four phases. The first one will be the G1 phase. G2, uh, G1 phase, S1 phase, and also the G2 phase and the M phase. Okay, G1 phase actually also known as growth phase one. Okay, growth phase one. So G stands for growth. So S1 phase stands for synthetic phase one. Okay. Then G2 is growth phase two, all right? Understand? M phase stand for mitotic phase, okay? Mitotic phase or as known as the mitosis, also known as mitosis. Mitotic phase or mitosis. And then mitosis can be divided into four phases, which is the prophase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase. So it will be promat, pro m a t, okay, pro m a t. Later we'll talk about it. So let's talk about G one, S one, and G two phase first. All these are known as the interface. Okay, interface. All right. So let's move on. Okay. So G1 phase, S phase, and G2 phase is actually known as the interface. G1, S, and then G2 actually known as the interface. And then we will have a mitotic phase, including mitosis and cytokinesis. Later we will see. Okay, so can you see the most of the part, like more than 90%, is interface and then for mitotic phase is actually a small part only a small part okay so mitotic phase only is this part okay this part around like 10 percent but majority is interface okay or you can say as a gap one or growth phase one Is the same, okay? So the first point is typically the longest phase. Typically means biasanya, or normally the longest phase. Next point will be means G one phase is usually the longer phase. And then intensive cellular synthesis. Okay, the word cellular synthesis means that making of cell content. Okay, making cell content. So it can make DNA or make protein or anything that is needed in the cell division. 
So including what? New organel cell organelle and protein needed for cell division to start. Okay, when we always when we see the word synthesis, we always want to relate it to making something, okay? Making something or producing something. Next point, cell metabolic is high and cell growth occur. So since the cell they make new cell organelles, of course we will expect the cell to grow. Okay? Since the cell makes new cell organelle and protein. Of course, we are expecting the cell to grow. Uh. Okay, so the chromosomes are loosely coiled. Okay, chromosomes are loosely coiled in a form of long thread that we call it as a chromatin. Okay, we call it as chromatin. So chromatin cannot be clearly seen. Okay, cannot be clearly seen under the microscope. So this is G1 phase. So I need you to write down in your notes. Okay, after G1 is what? S phase. S. S stands for synthesis. All right. So, all right. In animal cell, the centrioles duplicate. Okay, the centrioles duplicate. Duplicate means from one into two. Or you can say is make a copy. Okay, make a copy. All right, point number two are so S phase means uh synthesis phase. So actually, it may also stand for DNA replication phase. Uh. DNA. So DNA replication occur. The chromosome duplicate. So the meaning of DNA replication means the DNA make. A copy of itself okay make a copy of itself later later why would this uh, i will show you what, what does it mean by that all right so this is the chromosome before the replication and it has actually a centromere all right so this is before the duplication and then in the middle the black part is actually the centromere. This one, the middle one, is the centromere. Okay, so this is a before the replication. So let's see after the replication. So after replication, I say that it makes a copy, right? The chromosome duplicate. Here. DNA replication occur, the chromosome duplicate. Point number two. DNA replication occur, chromosome duplicate. So how does it duplicate? So it actually duplicate into like this. So initially it just like this. And you have another one now. This is a new one. All right, so this is a chromosome after replication. So this is actually what it means by DNA replication. So it's like they make a copy. So actually, if you want to talk at uh for the for this this part, we know that from here to here, this whole thing is called as a chromatis. Okay, chromatis. So I want you to write down. So this thing is actually called as a chromatid. After replication, then they are same to each other. So this is a chromatid, this is chromatid. These two, we call it as a sister chromatids. Why we call it as sister chromatids? Because they are identical to each other. The gene, everything, the information on the chrom chromosome is the same. So we call it a sister chromatid because it just make a copy, okay? 
make copy. Okay, that's all. So for G2 phase, pretty much what they want to do, what they have, uh, anything they will need for the cell division, they have already gathered. So cell are actually ready to divide and organelles and the protein necessary for cell division are synthesized. Means G2 phase just telling us that a uh, cell is actually ready and we can enter the mitotic phase, mitosis. Okay, can enter the mitosis. So for mitosis, only the somatic cells are able to divide. So what is somatic cells? So somatic cells, so for mitosis, okay, so for mitosis, only the Somatic cell. You may not need to write this down. This is uh for extra info. Somatic cells divide. Okay. Somatic cell means all cell except reproductive cell. Reproductive cells like sperm and ovum. So they are not included. Sperm and ovum, they are not included. 